Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey, Sunbird Campy here from the motorcycle riding in January. First time I've ever been Sunbird in January. Fuck you, Minnesota. I'm winning. Uh, go to assholeconsulting.com if you have any questions. You want some guy who looks like shit who just came off. Look, I just rode all the way from El Paso, to, or not El Paso, worse than that, Van Horn, Texas, to Phoenix. And, um,. Yeah, I stand by it. I, I I look pretty damn good for a guy who did. What are you expecting, Cary Grant, to come fucking walking off the red carpet? Dear Cappy, I have recently took up swing dancing lessons to meet chicks. Funny how it is to learn when it comes to dancing. I am retarded. I honestly don't think it's the case where I'm fresh and need more practice. I am retarded. Well, you're not retarded because you're writing and conversing very fluently in English and a level of somebody who is uh, quite cogent, quite intelligent, so you're not retarded, so let's eliminate that immediately. If poor reaction time to coordinate left from right, I can't remember anything past the most recent three steps. As the lessons move on, the steps compound, I increasingly get worse, and I just make things up even though I know I'm fucking it up. I think my worst problem is I cannot talk or express some kind of confidence to my partner while dancing at the same time. Because I already use too much real-time brain power merely trying to get the moves right. I also sweat like crazy. I'm allergic to antipers. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jesus Christ. Okay. <clears throat> you are over-worrying about every motherfucking thing possible. Alright? And what I want you to do... I'm not even going to read the rest of it. I mean, I'll get to it, but I'm, I'm going to stop you right here. You worry about everything, and that's why you're fucking up. Okay. Oh my god, I'm not good. Oh yeah, the number one complaint I get from people like, well, I don't know how to dance. Like I, I'd say, hey, you should learn how to bowling dance. You should take my class. Well, I don't know how. It's like, no fucking shit, dipshitterous Maximus. That's why you take a fucking class. You're gonna suck. Everybody sucks. And it sounds like your instructor... Is not as good as me. And I don't say that as funny, ha ha, nor do I say that as arrogant, cocky. I'm just saying it doesn't sound like, because damn it, I was probably the best dance instructor in the Twin City. I'm not joking. It just doesn't pay. That's the problem. <sighs> dance is boiled down to two very simple things. There is the basic step, and then there are the moves on top of it. The fact you don't know that, based off of this email, means that your instructor is teaching you routines. You do this move, then you do that move. The girl goes here, the girl goes there. Her hand is present here, you pull her this way. In other words, there's no thought, there's no lead, there's no base, there's no nothing. It's all a routine, it's all choreographed. And choreographed dancing, which is what you see on Dancing with the Stars, is not real dancing. I'm terribly sorry, that's just true. That's, it's not real dancing. Real dancing is the man walks out on the floor and he has no fucking clue what he's going to do. He's going to win it. He has an inventory of moves. He knows the basic step. He knows the beat and the structure of the dance. And then, with his inventory of moves, he paints a picture, a work of art, where he grabs a woman who is able to follow his lead and, and creates a work of art that everybody can witness and enjoy. He doesn't know how it's going to turn out because he doesn't really care. He's just going to dance that particular dance with this particular woman the way he's particularly going to do it. Now, to do that, though, you need some structure and you need some basics. And it doesn't sound like this is the way that this guy has taught you. And every dance, I don't care what dance it is, every dance boils down to two things. There's the basic step and then there are the moves, okay? The basic step is just what you repeat time and time and time again to fill in the parts of the dance where you're not spinning your partner around or executing moves. Okay, it's called the basic. In East Coast Swing, it's side side rock step. And Lindy Hop, it's one, two, fuck you. I hate Lindy Hop. Bachata is step, step, hip, step, step, hip. Merengue, step, 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 step. 
salsas. Step, 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 step. That's it. And you just beat that into your fucking brain to the point that it is exactly like your heart. Do you think about your heart beating? Have you thought of it? You, you think beat, 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 beat. Do you think that? No, it just happens. Okay? And you want to get to the point that you can get to that basic, and it's very boring, and it's very unexciting, and it's not sexy at all. To the point that it becomes rote rehearsal, it becomes second nature, like you breathing at night, or your heart beating, or your eyes blinking. You don't, and you don't, and that's exactly what you're trying to do, and that's why you're fucking up, okay? You don't try to do it. You get to the point that you can do these basic steps without thinking. Now, it's funny you bring up talking. Why are you trying to talk? Why, why are you trying to talk? There's no talking on you don't talk to the girl. You shut the fuck up. For two damn good reasons. One, a man who doesn't talk is one that women want to suck their dick more. Okay? That's that's one. Two, you should be busy focusing on the dancing. You are not there to converse. You are there to dance. You do not have the CPU processing power to do that. To do both talking and dancing. I do because I've been doing it a fucking million years. Not because I'm great. Because it's like, boom, 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 boom. I don't think about it. I can talk to a girl. Women are different. Women are more skilled at men than dancing. And that's why women can keep the beat and they ain't. And I've, like, seriously, first, number one dance class. Lesson one. Getting the basics down. Women got it. Women do. Women are superior men in this regard. Just the truth. And then what do you think women do because they have the beat down? And the guy is just going. Where you from? What do you do? Why don't you an engineer? I don't know. I'm kind of a stupid little uh, little arts major in gore. I could like live off of you for a little bit. Right? And you're letting that fuck with your mind, okay? Your job when you're dancing, good or not, rookie or expert, execute the basics. Don't talk to the girl. That's it. Your job is to lead her. That's it. Make her look like a million bucks. That's it. She'll ask questions and say, Quiet, I'm dancing. Oh, he, he, shut up. Fuck him. I'll show him. I'll sleep with him someday. And I'll show him because he told me no. Uh, so you should not be talking to girls, especially as a beginner on the dance floor. You do not talk to girls. Your goal is left, right, rock, step. Left, right, left, right. Side, side, triple step, whatever the fuck, you know, slow, slow, quick, quick, whatever it is that you're learning, that's your goal. You're, you are not there to talk to girls, okay? You are there to execute dance moves. Um, so hang on, let me consult your notes here. Uh, but basically, uh, yeah, you, and it's going to take a while. It's going to take like, I'd say six months of regular attendance to get to the point where you're not thinking left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, or whatever else it is that you can actually converse. I'm not saying don't converse, but not now, not at this point, never. No, you don't talk to these girls when you're learning to dance. You learn to dance, okay? Oh. Give me a second. I cannot talk or express some kind of confidence to my partner while dancing. Sometimes because I'm ready too much room, Allergic to antiperspirants. Well, you're allergic to antiperspirants. Well, tough fucking shit for you. You sound like some. You sweat like crazy. Okay, are you fat? Are you fat? Are you fat? Then lose the fucking weight. Because if you're fat, that might be why you're sweating. Uh, bring extra shirts. Every guy does do that, though, whether you're fat or not. Ultimate, uh, I think the whole point of being a lead in dancing is to convey confidence and, you know, lead. If I were to continue dancing, the continuation would be an embarrassing remedial path to get any good. Yeah, uh, dude, you're, how many classes have you taken? I mean, it takes, it took me, the, the fastest I learned, I learned salsa in a month and I went every night. <laughs> I had a girl that destroyed me. One of the few girls that destroyed the old cabin. She showed up. I still showed up. I didn't even care that she was there. I danced with fat, middle-aged Spanish women that didn't speak a fucking lick of English because they knew how to salsa. I went every fucking night like a workout buff guy does go and work out eight hours a day. 
So you're not going to be that good. It just doesn't pop up. And oh, now I'm good now. Um, you really have underestimated what it takes to become a good dancer. Uh, how does mentally impaired dancer like me navigate a social dance scene to become more popular? Maybe Lindy Hop is too complex. Yeah, Lindy Hop's a little complex. I go uh, East Coast Swing. That's much more simplified and more fun. You're going to deal with a lot less communist women. We used to call them Lindy Snazis. That's how bad Lindy Hop is. Is there a more beginner-friendly form of dance? East Coast Swing. I should look into it. Maybe I shouldn't dance and do something else. Growing into my 30s, I find that all my colleagues are tying down with babies or wives. I don't want to hang out anymore. How does one maintain a dynamic social life in this context? Well, you don't. It's a, it's a losing battle. Um, I've, I've learned that. Uh, you... I, I won't lie to you. You sound like just the the guy that oozes desperation and creepy to women um, because you're so hyper worried and you're using ballroom dancing to meet girls, which which you can use, but then you can also abuse. Um, in terms of the social life, that's going to happen no matter what. So don't try and fight it. Um, you can't replace it with younger people because you won't have anything in common with those younger people. I would recommend that maybe you use ballroom dancing to find yourself a woman or you go work harder at your career or you develop a, you know, join a kickball league or something. You're going to have to join a lot of social events. I don't have a personal answer to that. That's why I drive my motorcycle across the country because there's very few people my age in my league that can keep up. Um, so if you find a way to, like, keep your social life going – Good luck to you, and please do right. Uh, but yeah, that's just going to happen no matter what. Ballroom dancing is a great way to to meet people and for the social aspect. But right now, you sound like the guy that is so hyper anal retentive that you no one wants to be around you. You're, you're too tense. You're too tight. You think you got to be here by this time, and, and and people like sense that they don't know what it is. They just, they don't know. see you, your purpose is noble and moral. You want to become a really good dancer, but people don't. They sense like there's something wrong with you. Um, it's going to take a bit, dude. It's going to take. Now I would find a different instructor. I would also go online, self teach yourself. But if I can deprogram and take away everything else from what your instructor has taught you to maybe give you hope to go into the ballroom dancing thing. There's the basic, and then there's the move. I told you you have to master the basic, obviously, so that you don't even think about it. And then once you get to that point, side side rock step, going to be a very boring dance. It's going to suck. Women will walk off the floor with you. Have you had five women walked off the floor with you? Because I've had five women walk off the floor for me. So when you get to that point, then you can start saying you suck. In the meantime, you're just going to have to suck it up. And you get down to that basic. You get side side rock step or step step, triple step, whatever it is that you want to do for your particular dance. And once you're there, once it's rote rehearsal, then you start adding moves. You start with some very basic left hand turns, right hand turns, counter turns, contra turns, whatever else that they're trying to teach you. Um, then maybe you go through some routines, okay, and this and that, that and, you know, some basic stuff. You try it out with different partners, and you go every night. You go every night. You get your ass shot down. You get your ass kicked, and, and oh, I'm sorry. And you're going to goof up on the floor. You're always going to goof up. You're not going to look like Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers every time. And slowly but surely, it will start to become rote rehearsal. Uh, but what I think um, you have to realize is that there is, a, there is a scientific structure. This is one thing I will grant the IT nerd something about ballroom dancing. There is a scientific structure to ballroom dancing. The man leads, the woman follows. And you have to know the moves. You have to be able to lead her through the moves. But once you get to that point, like, okay, here's the move. A good follow, a good woman who knows how to follow, which is a skill unto itself equal to leading, uh, will make you feel like a million bucks on the dance floor because it's the difference between driving a Ferrari and driving a piece of shit Volvo. Okay, it really is. Um, and I will, I'll, I'll tell you the honest truth. Uh, I've seen it. This is bullshit. Recently divorced women who came to my dance class were the worst followers because they thought they knew everything. And obviously they got divorced because they were not conducive to being wife material. 
they had the lead, and he's not doing it. It's like, sweetheart, your role is to follow. It will not work with two leaders, and you obviously want to lead, and that's why you divorced your husband, and your husband left you. It was it was amazing how much of a coincidence this was. However, that also means you as the man must lead. So you must learn these moves and these skills. It is complementary. The man leads, the woman follows. Both execute a very important function in the dance so that it works. You cannot have two followers, you cannot have two leaders because if you have two followers, they just sit and look at each other. If you have leaders, you're constantly fighting like divorced middle-aged 50-something women from the United States. So what you need to do is just get your ass handed to you like you've been. This is part of the learning process. But you need to learn the basic footwork. Then you need to learn how to execute turns. And you need somebody to break it down to you in that compartmentalized situation. Then you need to have a woman who knows how to follow those moves. Not choreography, where the woman knows how to do everything because she's been trained to do it that way. That's not lead and follow. That's choreography. And that might be the problem that you're running into. So you find a girl who like knows how to follow. It could be a rookie girl who's just a really good follower or an expert dancing woman who is an expert follower and can follow anybody. And trust you me, that's the that's Lord's works. So that's the same works. Uh, but y the, it all hinges on you knowing the basic and knowing how to execute the moves. Those are the two things you need to know how to do. And that comes with practice and getting your ass kicked. And then key to it is having a woman that knows how to follow. I would highly recommend you go ballroom dancing after you learn one, two, or three moves. Go to the woman who is not the prettiest, but the best dancer. Say, I need to know if I'm doing this right. You are the best dancer here. You're not kissing your ass, you're telling her honestly. I need to know if my lead is correct. Can you follow my lead? And it's testing it. That's what it is, testing it, because that's the best dancer. She knows how to follow. And if she, fo if you execute your lead, in your move and she follows correctly she'll tell you yeah no dude you're totally on right you did the pre-lead you did a regular lead i totally knew what you were doing you are correct and that is going to help you advance because what it sounds like right now is your instructor is teaching you choreography where everybody kind of knows everybody else's move that causes confusion who's lead who's follow um or you yourself are not confident or you just haven't danced enough so uh but they basically that's it yeah i mean um you, you, I won't lie to you, you sound like a pussy. You really sound like a pussy. And uh, you sound kind of like, well, I don't know. Uh, be the fucking man. Be the fucking lead. The man has a part. The woman has a part. Maybe try a different dance instructor, different dance class. Um, but this, oh, I tried and I'm failing miserably. Yeah, that sounds like total fucking pussy bullshit because I had five women walk off the floor with me. I was horrendous. I was a horrible dancer. And everyone's a horrible dancer, and you will be embarrassed on the dance floor as well. And I've walked off the dance floor with women. I have. <laughs> Destroyed them, uh, but they learned, and that's how it works. Anyway, so that's that's the best I got for you. Um, you know, try a different, go on YouTube, anything else. Uh, if, if you're with Fred Astaire or um, the other one, one of these professional ballroom dances, no, get rid of that. Go to your community education program. Go to the local salsa club, go to the local swing club, have them teach you there. Do not go with Fred Astaire or Arthur Murray. That's the other one. Do not go with those guys. That's probably, if that's where you're going, that's probably where you're fucking up. So, best of luck, Tools.